Hi guys, Wes and Sarasota here. Um, welcome back to the uh, the Caterpillar Butterfly Chronicles. So as you can see, we got another guy climbing up uh, the screen here in the lanai, which I, I wanted to capture, which is always fun because that means he's going to uh, go up there to to hang out and, and cocoon up. So the last couple days have been not so great. I think we got a couple of bad uh, milkweed plants from Lowe's. Even though we brought them home, we, we rinsed them, we, we rubbed down each leaf with some uh, watered down Dawn, you know what I mean? Like we cleaned them, but we've had a couple of sick caterpillars um, and it's been really, really sad to see. So we got, I had to move more to this plant over my God, here, which is pretty, pretty barren. So hopefully these big guys we got one that's hanging and uh, trying to cocoon. There's actually two smaller ones on that plant. So I'm going to have to move them off that leaf so they hopefully don't uh, chew his leaf right off while he's trying to cocoon on it. So what I did is I came out, I rinsed them all down again, and I put them up here, elevated them off the ground to help protect them hopefully from some bugs. But uh, if there's just, uh, there, I mean, there's you know 25 caterpillars on there. These uh, these ones with the red tops here. That's a different type of milkweed that we bought from a, a local organic place. Um, I'm gonna go back there today and get some of the uh, the more traditional milkweed, just because they don't seem to really like that one as much. Even though they they said they would, they they don't seem to enjoy it. And those other two regular milkweeds are the ones we got from Lowe's. I took them out. I washed them down again. And I, I put them out here in the sunlight hoping maybe that'll help. But I don't know. I'm going to go and get the, uh, the other fresh milkweeds from the local organic place. Rinse them down again anyway. And uh, yeah. So that's the, uh, that's the update. We got some that are healthy that are going to try to make some cocoons. Some that are sick and dying. It was really sad to see they uh, when they get poisoned they... They kind of emit this green goo, like an exoplasm. It reminded me of like predator goo or something, you know, just really sad to see. And now some of them are just, they're just so lethargic. Normally they're just chewing on leaves, munching, 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 going to town and getting big and fat. And they've been sleeping for a long time. They, they come to life. I've been coming out, spraying down the plants with some water to try to keep it cool. Because obviously here in Florida it gets... Uh, gets really hot now that it, we're moving more towards the summer months so I don't know it's uh, not gonna be releasing releasing quite as many as I had hoped so hopefully the uh, the rest of these guys stay healthy and we can still get a bunch out there we're keeping positive go out get some more some more uh, healthy milkweed talk to y'all later peace out